Hello everyone, I am Pallavi studying in 8th SEM Information Science and Engineering branch from Sri Venkateshwara College of Engineering, Bangalore. I am here to present a technical seminar on IoT based biometric recognition systems in education for identity verification services, quality assessment approach. Under the guidance of Dr. Shalini V, Assistant Professor, Department of IEC. Coming to the contents of today's technical seminar, firstly, introduction related background, objectives, working or implementation, future enhancement, conclusion, and references. Moving on to the introduction, the Internet of Things, IoT, has ushered in a new era of connectedness, allowing numerous objects and systems to communicate and share data effortlessly. In recent years, considerable advances have been in the IoT research Incorporating IoT technology into biometric recognition systems enables real-time monitoring and remote system access, thereby increasing system accessibility and flexibility. Moreover, IoT technology can improve the accuracy and efficiency of biometric recognition systems by enabling the integration of several biometric modalities such as facial recognition and fingerprint identification. These systems can leverage physiological or behavioral characteristics to identify individuals uniquely, lower the chance of cheating, enhance educational security. IoT-based biometric recognition systems can provide a more secure and a convenient method of identifying and confirming students during classes and exams in the educational setting. Student verifications during the examinations is the most important and primary procedure for identifying the correct candidate for school, class and examination authentications. Checking a student's identification document such as a personal identification card, a student identification card and a driver's license card is the standard procedure for confirming a student's eligibility to take an exam. Some of the advantages implementing biometric technologies include access control using fingerprint recognition, face recognition to grant access, healthcare, citizen identification, security system, finance, airport, canteen management systems, visitor management systems, and parking management systems. Coming to the related background, biometric recognition using biometric technology principles like Unimodal and multimodal biometric technologies, biometric verification in education system, Internet of Things platforms for biometrics and open source computer vision image processing for application development. The unimodal system employs a single biometric verification source. The human face is a well known biometric characteristic utilized in various applications, including criminal identification, security systems credit card verification, etc. Multimodal biometric can be divided into four subcategories, multiple modalities, multiple sensors, multiple features, multiple and repeated occurrences. IoT is currently the most popular platform for human-like support, particularly in education. OpenCV is a well-known artificial intelligence library for image processing. Biometric conceptual framework, surveillance, identification and access control are the three most prevalent biometric technology uses. The unimodal system uses a by single biometric verification source such as the face, iris, fingerprint, palm, etc. Multimodal system to improve the performance of biometric recognition systems used to verify exam takers. Using multiple traits and a fusion approach, to biometric scores produce better results than a single biometric. Coming to the objectives, the primary objective of this study was to experimentally investigate a biometric recognition system for education, identifying the sampling group, testing the system and collecting data for each testing group are the three aspects of each experiment. Using IoT technology, the first objective is to propose software design and development for examination management and biometric recognition systems with face and fingerprint. The secondary objective is to examine quality measurement metrics for the biometric verification systems 
by analyzing biometric effectiveness in an exam environment. Coming to the working or implementation, hardware design, EDIB, ESSDB, and PMDB were developed using MySQL Server as a centralized biometric database to support web-based application programs for exam taker verification systems. The potential biometric verification case studies into eight identity verification approaches. First method employs identification cards, while the second method employs facial biometrics. Then the third method employs fingerprint biometrics, while the fourth method employs face and fingerprints. Fifth method uses a face captured by two cameras and the sixth method uses fingerprints captured by two scanners while coming to the seventh method uses the face then the fingerprint finally the eighth method uses the fingerprint then the face data collection and analysis the metric performance of the quality measurement could be assessed using a combination of conventional and biometric verification techniques training and testing data first is experiment data set preparation consistent of two distinct phases Firstly, preparation for facial recognition and the second one is preparation for fingerprint recognition. To optimize the environment for face recognition with the camera, experimentation was conducted to determine the optical distance between the camera and the subject for a 640 into 480 resolution. Comparison of different verification scenarios. This experiment compared four testing technologies of biometric approaches to evaluate the quality of an IoT based biometric verification system for the identity verification of exam takers in a higher education institution. The four testing technologies are zero biometric, zero head by Z. This system is a conventional method of identity verification that employs human proctors. Second one, unimodal biometric, which is generated by you. This includes only a single biometrics, whereas thirdly, multiple biometrics generated by M, multiple model biometric system incorporates at least two biometrics. The last one, semi-multimodal biometrics generated by S, face biometrics and fingerprint biometrics are sequentially required by semi-multimodal biometrics to detect and confirm student identity. Evaluating biometric quality criteria for effectiveness and efficiency, the optical input that is captured from the fingerprint sensor is stored and accessed by the system in specific formats, for example, in BMP, JPJ format, etc. We are using these captured inputs to train our neural networks. For training to do work well, we should gather at least a 100 visual samples of fingerprints. The more we gather, the better the accuracy of the trained model. We also need to make sure that the inputs provided are good to help us in the verification and classification process. Coming to the future enhancement, this study has some limitations that can be addressed in future studies, including system development, user behavioral intentions, and biometric quality metrics for varying biometric recognition. This study is based on Raspberry, Raspberry Pi 4 biometric devices, OpenCV and wireless networks, whereas other researchers may use different hardware, software libraries, implementation strategies and networks. Thus, future development systems should investigate the effects of changes. In addition, it is necessary to validate and analyze the impact of technology factors on user perceptions of actual system use. <clears throat> Coming to the conclusion, the novel biometric quality metrics is proposed for scoring biometric exam taker verification systems based on ISO slash IEC 25000 and software quality models. The results revealed that the two fingers multimodal biometric system had the highest average accuracy of 96.67% and the lowest error rate of 1.9%.
the traditional protecting system known as a zero biometric system had the lowest average accuracy of 66.67% resulting in the highest average error rate of 21.29%. The FISH unimodal biometric system had the lowest estimated cost for a three hour examination class at dollar 4.56 while the conventional protecting system had the highest estimated at $34.29. In addition, the biometric quality metric can be adapted to support additional biometric recognition. Coming to the references, these are the reference papers I have researched for my seminar topic. Thank you for watching the video.